That's good. It's Valentine's Day. I don't know how to start the shit. Today's Valentine's Day. You know, and I talked about it yesterday. I was like, I freed my schedule um, by doing a lot of homework yesterday in order to have time today. And, um,. Yeah, so me and my girlfriend, uh, long distance, just talked the whole day, basically, you know, played some games type shit, um, and yeah, it was, it was, it was a good day, you know, just, and it, it was an enjoyable day, um, and I'm glad I got to have a day like that, because recently, I haven't had a several hour window that I could just play around with, it's either breaking up by my boys A, or um, homework or you know my other responsibilities surrounding homework if it was just like just homework it'd be a bit easier but I have everything else that I need to maintain uh, my health um, you know I have I have a requirement that I set for myself that I need to read I do Duolingo you know it's all these little things um, but I'm glad I got to have a day like that um my favorite thing of today was oh, I actually said it I don't know what Ash Wednesday is but today is Ash Wednesday my girlfriend has been my favorite thing every day of the month um and I've talked recently about um there's a feeling, and I feel like me and my girlfriend's love is just not not our love is stale, but I'm just I've I've just been stale about people. And after sitting on the thought some more, you know, I didn't like I threw some things out of what it could be, but you know, I was still figuring it out. I truly just think that I have settled, right. And, and I imagine I'm not going to feel the same way about her as the first day I met her, you know, um, and even the first day we got together, right? It's just going to feel different, right? I'm going to get more comfortable, you know, things are established, and that's probably what it is, but it did scare me for a bit because, you know, I don't have those, like, really sharp, like, heart rhythms just by like thinking about her and all that I still love her a lot but you know it's not like the same giddiness I guess it's, it's just settled um but I still love her and today proves it right we just talked all day and I enjoyed it again I feel like it was you know I'm one to like really preach about work like you really need to just work and get better um but you know this is the busiest my life has ever been so far because callers actually kicked off and it's still something i i know i need to do and i'm not saying at all that i'd be willing to just stop it right but you know well if i didn't have responsibilities like people and you know upholding relationships with people um it'd be a lot easier to get all that shit done my life would completely revolve around that but because it doesn't you know it's they're they're my mental break and i'm glad today was as good as it was um what am i grateful for i'm no i said i'm grateful for valentine's day yesterday i'm grateful for pick but I know the topic it wants to um 
that I want it to be about. I'm grateful that I am okay today. Like, I'm grateful that I'm healthy, alive, all that because of um, something uh, I'm gonna have to talk about. So, my girlfriend lives um, near Kansas City, right? And the Chiefs just won the Super Bowl, right? Um, and at her school was closed today because of it, um, a parade that happened um, in or by or around Kansas City. Um, and, you know, she's gone before, my girlfriend, um, and she would have gone should I have not, like, been in her life. Like, should she have not met me, she probably would be there by now. Uh, and a shooting occurred there today, of which I don't know the details, but it was like 20-something wounded. And I only found out through her because people she knew were there. Her mom was there. And it's a scary thing. One person died. There were some kids shot. I think, like, no, like, maybe 40 people shot. 20 a bit more seriously injured and one dead at least and it's just a shame and she was like yeah I'm glad I spent my day here because she could have gotten roped up in that and that wouldn't have been good you know like her I, no of course her you know at least from what I've heard her friends are alright you know everyone she might know that went there is alright or at least she hasn't heard about it yet but if she was there, it could have easily been like her that that happened to. Um, and it sucks. It's a shame that this stuff happens and it's really like heartless and fucking cruel. Um, just because it's, it's so pathetic, right? Going out of your way to completely ruin other people's lives. Because that could have been me. I could have been in the crowd and I could have gotten shot. It's a lot easier to like think of people as a number but if you think about like the one person that died like I don't know maybe he just got his dream job maybe you know maybe he's really excited about something but he had a whole life ahead of him like again it could have been me theoretically you know and you have this whole image for how your life's gonna go and <clears throat> It's just cut short and it's unfortunate uh, I do believe some people got uh, apprehended and it's again it's just a big shame that people want to do that stuff in the first place again it's it's about going out of your way to ruin other people's lives because the individual is too weak to work through whatever is plaguing them right ultimately they ultimately the person who shot up uh, the place, the parade, did it probably because they're like hopeless and pathetic, right? And they are pathetic because of their own actions. It's just sad that these weak people decide to inflict blame upon the rest of society. Of course, there's different circumstances for everything, but it's completely soulless and it's fucking pathetic. And it's really a shame that that happened because, again, that dude could have been anybody. He could have... Uh, again, anything great could have been happening in his life. You know, he was looking at his life, maybe it was great. Maybe it wasn't so great, but he had a life and it was cut short. And that's unfortunate. But I'm glad she wasn't there. Because I honestly don't think I'd have heard about it. And I, if, she, if, if she was there and she had been one of the people who had gotten killed, I don't think I would know. Because it's long distance, me and her. I would not have known what the fuck happened. And... You know, but I'm glad today happened. I'm glad she's fine. And I will pray that everyone else who did get wounded or shot, um, recover, right? Hopefully, um, get back to 100% health instead of, you know, having certain conditions that come from this it's really unfortunate 
Um, and we should just be grateful that we're not in that situation. But yeah, today was Valentine's Day. It's my first Valentine's Day that I've had. Um, a Valentine. You know? Um, in part because... Not that it really matters. In part because... You know, when I did have, like, a little girlfriend in fucking elementary school, I don't think that our times ever, like, swung around to, like, Valentine's Day, like, around there. It's like we fucking, I remember I broke up with her, like, twice. She broke up with me, like, once in middle school. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't even remember what kind of person I was, but that's not something I would do now. Um, obviously. <clears throat> See, that was nice, and, you know, all I needed, you know, it, it just helped to reassure me that you do still love her. It's, again, just your feelings have settled. There's nothing I could have complained about today. There's nothing I could have complained about relating to her or, well, yeah, relating to her, because I, I could find some things to complain about, like my fucking friend, my boy Zay. I always refer to him to, uh, as that. Uh, Today, the motherfucker, he's been getting on my nerves, and I've talked about it a little bit before, and I've gotten some advice about it from, like, one of the comments. You know, he, nobody in my life really follows the same path of self-improvement that I follow. Everybody that I'd consider a friend has their own paths, obviously. None of them really shooting in the same line as mine. My life is kind of just alongside theirs. Um, but my boy Zay, right, you know, I've known him since, like, kindergarten, and we've been friends, like, not, like, ever since, but, like, we've always been friends, right, there'd be, like, little times where we didn't talk, but, you know, we always came back together, and I've always kind of known it, but he's, you know, obviously, like, he's, he doesn't help me in my productivity, right, they say to like surround yourself with friends that um, are like minded and shit. We share a lot of like the same humors and all that, but besides that, we're not really like similar. Maybe some interests as well. But he's just been getting on my nerves. I feel like I haven't been getting a respect for my time. Like he really wants to spend time with me. But ever since I got my girlfriend now, I know what you're thinking, you're like, oh, you got a girlfriend and he doesn't make any time for his friend. Kinda, it's kinda, yeah, right? But also I've just had less time available to spend around, you know? So I work all day and then I have a few hour window that I wanna talk to my girlfriend for. You know, a few fucking hours, maybe. You know, and even still, I have to break it up with shit that I'm still doing in between, maybe. Um, and then here's him. I'm like, I'm busy, right? And then, like, he might see that I'm, like, fucking playing a game or something with her. And then he'd be like, oh, you're busy, huh? He'll put in, like, quotation, oh, you're busy. I need to fucking relax. And when you, like, separate me from her, it's, like, I, I don't have time to give. Could I? Yes. But, like, that's a 50% split. Like, that's too fucking much. Like, it's just not gonna happen, bro. It's just not. And sometimes he's joking, sometimes I don't know. Or he says he's joking, but I think he might be saying that at this point because he doesn't want to upset me. Or, like, you know, then we, when we actually do call and it's like... Then he's like, oh, I was just joking. He doesn't say it. Well, sometimes he says it in, like, text. I feel like he just... Says how he thinks, but he doesn't fully apply it through fear or whatever that I take it in a not-so-good way. It's been getting on my nerves that I'm not getting respect for my time. And I'm gonna fucking go and I'm gonna look at the little exchange we had today. Which really pissed me off. So he called me, right... And he's black. Um, so I didn't answer. And he said, bitch, N-word. Right. 
he's black. Um, so he can't say it. And get away with it. <laughs> um, and I, I just said, it's Valentine's Day. Hoping, you know, he'd like, kind of take the hint. And then he said, Damn, for a girl you've been with for a couple months... Wait. Damn. For a girl you've been with for a couple months is kind of crazy. Kill yourself. To kill yourself, like... We don't mean it, okay? Um, that's more his thing, though. But to me, like, that doesn't even make sense in my mind. Because Valentine's Day is, like, the day of love. So regardless, you know, whoever your significant other is... I'm just gonna like fucking ignore her. Like that doesn't make any sense to me. Um, and it's been a few months. A few like month and five days it'll be like two months, so. And then I said kill yourself back. Cause honestly I was just like kinda upset, so I was just, I was just like, no, you kill yourself now. Um and he was like, I will. And then he texted me a bit later and he said, you still playing, right? Because I never really explicitly told him that I was going to spend the whole day with him. Right? And I said, again, it's Valentine's Day. And then I said, not tonight. And then he went in another chat that has me, him, and her in it. And he said, fucking... He said, y'all both suck. It just got on my nerves, bro. And, you know, I talked to him the other day and I watched some Dragon Ball with him. And, you know, a part of that went away. I was like, he's still my friend at the end of the day, you know? Like, when I'm, when I'm upset and I know that he doesn't really contribute to the success of my life in any way, it's easy for me to think like that because my life revolves around me my productivity and succeeding in the way that I feel is succeeding. So it's easy to just have thoughts like that come to me. But, you know, then I talk to him and then it's like, you know, well, he, you know, he's my friend. I'm not just like trying to like cloud all that I said, but it's like, you know, I don't have to like leave him. Like I can still put up with giving him the little bit of time that I do occasionally, right? If he like just fucking respects it and respects when I say no, um, but you know, with shit like that, like, it's getting to the point where I, like, I'm just not gonna sweep it under the rug, like, I'm gonna have to, like, confront him about it, because this shit's, like, weighing on me, it's, like, pissing me off, like, it's just fucking annoying me, especially because, like, I know, like, at the same time, I, like, want to, and hope it goes badly, it's fucked up. But at the same time, I hope it goes badly if I confront him about it. Because, you know, I was talking about that productivity. You know, even though I've known him for so long, again, I know he doesn't, like, contribute to that in any way. He's just the longest friend I've had. And, you know, the only one that seemed like it'll probably, like, last for a long time, our friendship. Just because, like, he kept coming back, you know. I don't always reach out. He always reached out. So it made it easier like, the other friendships I got are, like, a lot more recent. Those could, like, fade, and, you know, I'd just be like, well, that was another era of my life. Um, him would be more of a big decision. But, you know, at the same time, part of my brain pushes for it because I know it'll free me of some relief, just, like, less to worry about, you know. Friends are important, but do, do you really need friends? There's networking, right? I, I try and be cool with people. It just happens naturally to me. That's why I tend to make new friends, like, in college. I had, like, a little friend group for a while already in, like, the fucking first few months of college. That fell apart. But, like, you know what I mean? Uh, it just happens naturally to me, and I find that I often exceed at what it should be. It, they should just be, like, we're cool with each other, but, you know, I tend to, like, get into stuff. Now that I have a girlfriend... Like, do I really need friends? No. That doesn't... Well, friends is friends, but, like, the other kind of friend. We're, like, keeping contact often, always hang out and shit. You know, like, more of, like, a casual friend. I don't know. I'll just start a Duolingo French. Because my girlfriend 
was born in French, or in France, um, but like migrated, or is it immigrated? Immigrated? I don't know, like the political, correct, politically correct term. Um, so I'm just gonna say immigrated uh, to here when she was like really young. So like, you know, you wouldn't you wouldn't even like be able to tell because. American accent lived here our whole life you know um see so yeah, like I've been doing Duolingo Japanese but I like really haven't been in anime recently let's say I'm watching it with my boy Zay but like I just don't really not that I don't have room for it like I could find room for it it's just I'd rather spend time on more productive things I I'm glad I've let go of something like anime and those extra things um so I haven't really been like caring. So I started French, um, and yeah, I mean I think it'd be like cute because she still knows some French. Um, she says that she like thinks in French often, so I imagine she knows quite a bit. So I I thought it'd be like cute or something if I could like, you know, just eventually work work in some terms and. Who knows? I mean, I'm not just going to be an expert like that. I mean, I've been doing Duolingo for nearly 600 days now. So I know it's not the fucking case because I've been doing Japanese that whole time and I still feel like a fucking beginner. Japanese is a bit more difficult, difficult of a language in my eyes because it's rearranged differently. If I want to say it is funny in Japanese, I'd say like, I don't feel like doing the accent because that's kind of cringe. Omoshiroi desu. The desu means it is. Omoshiroi means funny. And the tenses are still like, they still haven't really like been worked in, like past tense, future tense. That's like what would really like excel me, you know? So, yeah, French. What am I gonna throw out? it's time to start going to the sentimental things because part of these have been like some of them have like been like less sentimental but like the stories behind them but like now I've I mean I've thrown away some mementos already but we're gonna because that whole area over there is more mementos so I'm gonna find something Okay, well, I saved a lot of things because there was like a little time in my life where my dad and his girlfriend were like going out and doing like a lot, or like a good amount, like whether it's like events or, you know, whatever. It was uh, interesting. And this uh, is one of them. And I hated it. It was like monster trucks. It's not like the like Grave Digger and, and all those monster trucks. This one was like, at least I don't think so. No, these were like a lot smaller or this was like a smaller event. It was so fucking terrible because the seats were like, like bench seats, right? It's so annoying when you're like at a place and you just can't sit back because you're in like a bleacher type fucking seat it's so uncomfortable and fucking annoying not to mention it's hot as fuck and sweaty and I'm like cramped between so many fucking people 
I hated the whole event. And, you know, I, I felt bad for, like, but ultimately, like, I was the reason we left early because I just could not stand it anymore. So, you know, I felt kind of bad, but, like, I didn't even care about the fucking monster trucks. Like, it was just so dumb. I went because it was something to do. I'm not, like, a geek or, like, a nerd into this shit. It was a stupid little event. And it was, like, and it, honestly, it was terrible because they just had, like, um, like a little dirt mound, right? Right, obviously, like, you could go up that way, you go up that way. That's, like, it. Like, no flips. The craziest thing that happened was, like, a wheelie. I mean, which is so kind of cool. I mean, I imagine it's pretty hard to do in a monster truck, um, in any fucking vehicle, let alone. But it was not very impressive. It was more like an event for little kids, but we didn't know that going out. Um, and yeah, I have some more something else, things over there that I could probably pull some stories out of. See, this is, this is kind of why I wanted to throw away these mementos, because there's no point in having them here, but if I can capture the story and meaning behind it, then that's kind of all that matters, I guess. See, because now that story's captured, I'll be able to look back at it, and I'll be like, yeah, I remember that, it was fucking shitty ass fucking place. Um, peace.